Hey everyone, Deltron Life here. So the new StarCraft Mass Recall Legacy of the Void Edition was recently released, and I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys how to easily install this for yourself. So there's actually two methods to install this, this campaign. So you can either install it using the auto installer, or you can do it manually. If you choose to do it man manually, uh, Jay Barino made a great video on how to do that. I'll put that video in the description box below. So definitely check that out. If you want to do it using the auto installer method, which is a very easy way to do it, um, just continue watching. So first things first, you're going to want to go to the Mass Recall project page. I'll also put a link down to this website in the video description below. So click on that and it should bring you to this website. So the first thing first, just scroll down a bit and then you're going to need two files. So the first file is the StarCraft Mass Recall Legacy Edition installer. This is the actual auto installer batch file. So just click on that and then it'll bring you to this Dropbox page and then just hit download. So once that's done downloading, just go back. The next file that you need is from this alternate direct download link. So just click here. It'll bring you to this website. And then all you need to do is hit download as zip. And this will download all of these zip files as one large zip file. So this will take a little while. They're relatively large files, so just be patient. But once that's done, um, we can continue on to the next step. Okay, so now all your files should be downloaded. Now go to File Explorer in your Downloads folder, and you should see your the SEMR LE setup file and the StarCraft Mass Recall zip file. So first things first, just copy the StarCraft Mass Recall setup file. And then you're gonna to wanna to place this file wherever you installed your StarCraft II game. So that will most likely be in your C drive. And then it'll either be in your program files or program files x86. Mine is in my x86 program files folder. So click on that, go down to StarCraft II, and then you should see your StarCraft II executable file. So if you're in this place, just paste the, the uh, setup file here and then go back to your downloads file. And then you're going to want to click through the StarCraft Mass Recall zip file or folder and then click this folder and then just click through until you get to uh, this directory where you have all five zip files included. So what you need to do is just copy all of these files and place them in the same location that you previously placed the setup file. So go back to your C drive, program files, StarCraft 2, and then you should be here. So just go ahead and paste these. And it'll take a couple seconds, but once that's done, you should have the exact same files here as me, which include these. The, the rest of these may be a little different. Don't worry about those. You just need the StarCraft Mass Recall LE setup, StarCraft Mass Recall Local, the Maps 1 and Maps 2, the StarCraft Mass Recall Mod Cinema. This one is actually, the Cinema mod is actually optional, but it's good to have if you want to watch the cinematics. And then uh, you have the StarCraft Mass Recall mod. Once you have all of those, you're ready to install it. There's one other side note that I want to tell you guys about. If you've played a previous version of StarCraft Mass Recall, you may want to delete any save bank data. So for example, if you've played StarCraft Mass Recall version 5.4, let's say, uh, you'll have bank data saved up from that on your, your PC. So, which um, you probably want to delete that. So to find it, just go to your documents, StarCraft 2 banks, and then you'll see a StarCraft Mass Recall.sc2 bank file. Just go ahead and delete that. If you don't have it in there, you don't have to delete it. And then once that's done, we can actually use the auto installer to install the game. So go back to your C drive, program files, StarCraft 2. And then just double click on the StarCraft Mass Recall setup file. And then you may get a pop-up saying, uh, 
asking, are you sure you want to, to run this? So just double click it exactly. Windows protect your PC. Um, that's because it's, it's, um, it's like an executable file. So just go to more info and then run anyway. It may just automatically run in your machine. And then it'll automatically extract all the, all of these zip files. So this is basically what the auto installer comes down to. It'll automatically unzip these files and then it'll place them in your maps, the correct maps and mods folder. And if you don't have the maps and mods folders, this auto installer method automatically creates those two folders for you, which is pretty neat. So once that's done, the terminal will say, press any key to continue. You can just press the space bar and then you're ready to play. So just go to your desktop. The auto installer also automatically creates the shortcut shortcut on your desktop. So just double click that. It'll say mass recall with a little wraith on it. And then if everything worked out, it should bring you to the Starcraft mass recall loading screen. And there you have it. Um, you've just successfully, if you are here, <laughs> you've just successfully installed Starcraft mass recall. It'll then bring you to the mission select campaign select screen, and it'll give you a little welcome if this is your first time. Welcome to StarCraft Mass Recall. Okay, and you should have all of these, all of these six campaigns. You even have extras, Lumines and the Stukov series, which you can play. Um, if you wanna go back, just hit the StarCraft Mass Recall. We can check out the options real quick. I haven't really looked at these, but there's a bunch of options, a bunch of customization options, which you can take a look at. Basically, you can adjust like here, your audio if you want all Brood War sounds or all StarCraft II sounds. So basically you can customize it to, if you want to play very, you know, vanilla StarCraft I Brood War, or if you want to play more of the StarCraft II related, you can. So once you take a look at that, um, let's check out some of this other stuff, this codex. Okay, so it looks like here we're gonna get information about units characters and planets as we progress through the campaign, which is really neat. This is all, all new to this uh, new version of StarCraft Mass Recall. We have stats as well. This is new as well, so it'll save bank data and store your, um, such as like things like units killed, survival rate, resources gathered, um, which is pretty neat. Okay, and then the last thing we want to do to make sure this works is actually start up a mission. So let's go ahead, uh, Rebel Yell, and let's play. So I'm not actually going to play the, the game. I just want to show you that this works. I can't see a thing, Jim. Well, hold on. I swear, it's always some damn thing. Wait, got it. Ah, oh, hell, this thing ain't gonna hold. Shut up. Damn, you're ugly. With you girls strapped in nice and tight now. Tighter than your mama's ass. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, man. What you got for me out there, Joey Ray? We got Terra for sure. I don't know about the rest. We got a big old buttload of floating debris out here. <laughs> we hit pay dirt this time for sure. Explain to me how we're gonna get all this home. I'm detached and moving toward the derelict spacecraft. Damn it, Jim. Video's out again. Well, quit picking at it. I ain't picking at it, damn it. I'm out here with a hitch of my candy up in here and there. I'm here to act. I can't run the camera when I'm looking at it.
Okay. Well, if you guys have gotten that far, uh, congratulations. You successfully installed StarCraft Mass Recall. Now you can play it and enjoy it for yourself. So I'm going to end the video here. And I, I really hope this video has been helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions regarding the installation process, any problems that you run into, just comment down below. I'll try my best to answer them. But in the meantime, just take it easy, everyone. And I'll definitely check out my other videos if you want to watch more StarCraft II custom content. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye now.